Morris Brothers devote their lives to the Christian education of children. In his encyclical, The Christian Education of Youth, Pope Pius XI says, education consists essentially in preparing man for what he must be and for what he must do here below in order to attain the sublime end for which he is created. instill the rudiments of Christian education by instructing boys in primary and secondary branches of study in day schools, boarding schools and orphanages. Boys are prepared for the various trades in well-equipped technical schools. Many pupils are given a scientific background for their future life as farmers in agricultural colleges. The zeal of the brothers carries their work in all these branches to the mission fields of the world. Where did this have its beginning? Benedict Joseph Marcelin Champagne, born in 1789, the year of the French Revolution, formed the idea of founding an order of brothers who could devote themselves exclusively to the Christian education of youth. After ordination, having gathered around him a band of young men, he trained them as religious teachers under the patronage of Our Lady and appropriately named them Maris Brothers. Notwithstanding its humble beginning in France, the Marist order spread throughout Europe, North America, South America, Africa, the Middle and Far East and Oceania until now there are 13,000 brothers teaching a quarter of a million pupils in over 700 schools the world over. The principal aim the brothers propose to themselves is their personal sanctification and so the day begins in the chapel. It is from the source of all wisdom and holiness that the brothers draw those graces they need in the religious life. Those portions of the day not devoted to prayer and the instruction of children are employed in religious study and the higher branches of secular learning. The brothers even find time to do the odd jobs about the houses and schools. The secondary aim of the brothers is the complete education of the boys in their schools. Every effort is made to equip these boys with the secular knowledge required in their surroundings. They receive training in all branches of study. Yet this secular instruction is considered of little value unless the pupils are well grounded in the practice of the Catholic faith. With this end in view, prayers are recited at intervals throughout the day. Visits to the Blessed Sacrament are encouraged. Prayers are recited and sodality meetings are held.
the boys become attached to the brothers and go to them in their many needs. As well as to the spiritual and intellectual development of the pupils, due attention must be paid to physical training. The brothers are well up in the finer points of coaching most forms of sport. and the many other activities apart from sport occupy many hours of training. Energy expended by the boys in the playing fields is adequately replaced in the dining room Pupils are catered for in such typical foundations as St. Joseph's College, Hunters Hill, a Sydney GPS school, the largest boarding college in the Southern Hemisphere. Sacred Heart College, Glenelg. Assumption College, Kilmore. St. Ildefonsus College, New Norcia. Marcelin College, Camberwell. St. Patrick's College, Sale. Champagne College, Wangaratta. Altogether, there are 60 such foundations scattered throughout the two Australian provinces. The brothers are trained at novitiates and teachers training colleges such as those in Mittagong, New South Wales and Macedon, Victoria. These many schools have to be staffed with brothers. As a brother grows old, he must be replaced by others. Where are these replacements to come from? It is from amongst boys like these that will come future vocations. Will it be this one? Or that one? Some boys from this group? Or perhaps it is you that is being called to follow the Marist way.